Hey, what's up guys? This is King Gunner with the Video Game Kingdom, and I'm actually coming at you with some new news slash rumors going on in the gaming world. We all know that E3 is coming up June 10th through the 12th, I believe, and uh, many of us Zelda fans are getting real pumped up about it because we know that the uh, at the E3, at the E3, we're going to get the reveal, hopefully, <laughs> of The Legend of Zelda, the next Legend of Zelda for the Wii U. Of course, we've had the remake of Skyward Sword, uh, or not Skyward Sword, but Wind Waker HD on the Wii U, and uh, we got some exciting news, of course, of some of the handheld games coming to the Wii U um, soon, and here comes the big one, The Legend of Zelda Shard of Nightmare. That looks to be the name of the new Legend of Zelda. I'm really, I'm really excited about it. it sounds like a pretty cool damn name. I'm really geeked about the whole situation in general. I got this rumor slash article from Zelda Informer. And um, so I definitely want to give them credit. Big ups to Nathaniel over there and his article here. Thank you guys so much uh, for putting this news out there. Um, just kind of, uh, I'll just read the article a little bit. It says, this rumor is arguably one of the most interesting ones I have seen for any pre-E3 hype to date. Rumors can run rampant all the time, but the nature of this one is slightly different. One of our senior community moderators on the Zelda Informer forums has a friend who sent him the first party press conference official E3 2014 listing manifesto, which includes what is being shown in the press conferences and what will be playable on the show floor. As you can see, if you look down at this, this is big. You got Microsoft, Microsoft there. You see what kind of big games they got coming. And you see what's playable on the show. You see Sony. Now, obviously, they will not be on the floor, but the, we will see some some playable uh, Nintendo games. I, I, from what I, I mean, judging by this up here, this is what this seems to be playable on the show. Okay, yeah, it does, in fact, say so over here. They're not going to be having a press conference. But if you look right here, we got The Legend of Zelda Shard of Nightmare. It's the new Wii U game. So, in fact, it's not Dynasty Warrior or, or Hyrule Warriors as many people. Well, actually, we do got Hyrule Warriors up here. Sorry about that. So, it looks like we are going to get um, the big announcement. Or at least the big is gonna we're gonna show it's gonna be playable on the show. With that said, also you see there's the Final Fantasy curtain curtain call. So it looks like Nintendo does have some big stuff coming. I know a lot of you Nintendo haters, which I'm not a fanboy of anything. I like all games. I have all of them, and uh, it's just the way it is. But I am in fact a Zelda fanboy. Anyway, let's continue to read. It says there's a lot of interesting stuff, but the biggest ones that pertain to us would be the supposed name of Zelda U, The Legend of Zelda Shard of Nightmare. The fact is that it will be playable on the show floor is a huge bonus. What could this mean? The name itself, assuming there is no typo, um, could imply that Nightmare is a person rather than a place. Hence what appears to be improper English at first glance. Anyway, I read that shit all fucked up. It could also imply the game has slightly darker tone, has a slightly darker tone, more akin to Twilight Princess or Oaken Arrow of Time. Many people have rumored this was going to happen anyway. Um, that particular timeline has not seen a new Zelda in, I believe, seven years. Um, the fact is, the fact that it is playable and has an official subtitle could also suggest the game is coming out sooner rather than later. It also helps much of the rumors line up with previous stuff when it comes to the other consoles as well with that being said many people believe it will be released in 2015 and that is very very much so pop possible i personally think that the major there will be a majora's mask remake that will be right around the 30th anniversary of zelda which is in 2016 so in 2015 i think we will in fact in 2015, I think we will, in fact, get The Legend of Zelda. Uh, the question is, will it be spring, or will it be their traditional release date, which happens to be in <clears throat> November or December, if we're really lucky? And I know a lot of you guys are going to say there's no way, no fucking way. I'm hoping it's released this year in the holidays. I know that sounds crazy, <clears throat> but think about it. If it's a playable on the showroom floor, What's the chances it's ready for release? I think it's ready for release. Why not? 
But anyway, it would be huge if this is released this year. Huge for the Nintendo, the Wii U console. Huge for everything. Huge for this channel because I'm going to do a Let's Play on it immediately. You guys already know that. But anyway, I just want to kind of throw that out there. Real excited about it. This document looks legit. I know there's a lot of rumors, a lot of fake leaking going on on the internet right now about E3. But this, I don't, I, I don't know why, but to me this seems legit. And uh, I'm just going with my gut here. So let me know what you...